Hello YouTube and welcome back. Um, just thought I'd do a quick update video for my arcade stick collection. I did one last summer but I've bought a few since and I've got a new one to show today. So I've uh, got a bit of free time so I thought why not make a video. So here we go. Anyway uh, first of all Robocop vs Terminator on the Mega Drive. Gifted from Dahl at uh, Blackpool. Fantastic game. Need to uh, get around to doing a, a gameplay video soon. The music is absolutely fantastic, so uh, we'll keep that going in the background. But anyway, let's make a start. So, the first one is the PlayStation Namco stick. I think I bought this back when I was at 50 subscribers. So it was uh, well, last year. Very nice stick, all micro switched. Um, yeah, metal base, very sturdy. Namco, so you can't really go wrong with Namco. So that's the first one. And then uh, we bought myself a uh, modified Sega Saturn virtual stick, which has got the upgraded stick and the uh, upgraded buttons. I'll probably pop a link below to the uh, to the video for this because it does show the specs of that. It's missing the artwork because the uh, uh, the front's been opened and the stick's been changed, so that's the only downside to that. But it doesn't bother me. Great stick to play with, really precise. Buttons are lovely. Uh, just an overall very nice stick. So I've been after one for a bit. That came up, I think it came from Germany, and I uh, got it for a good price, and obviously I have the upgraded bits inside, so I thought, yeah, a bit of a bonus. Moving along to the uh, IMP stick, one of two. Um, now this one, or well this, this one, yep, yeah, sorry, this one can be used on the Mega Drive or the PC Engine, and at some stage in its life, you could buy, you can remove that cover and um, have some batteries there and you can make it infrared you get like an adapter I imagine now these are like hen's teeth, they really are rare um, I was looking out for one of these um, for well over a year after spotting them on um, Darren's video Mr. Stellarbox said kept bugging him and uh, Eventually, he sold me both of his. Um, they come with an interchangeable lead. So you've got a PC Engine end and a Mega Drive end, and you just swap them round, and then you can use them on either console. Now, one lead was absolutely fine. One, both sticks are fine. Uh, one lead was absolutely fine. The other was faulty. So uh, that's been since repaired. So I'll talk about that later. So obviously it's a Neo Geo AES clone. It's all micro switched, really nice, auto fire. Uh, you can turbo switch and all that. And then we've got a Sega Mega Drive arcade power stick. Now this is the Japanese variant. It's all micro switched. Uh, metal base. Um, I've also done a video on this where I've stripped it down. It were a little bit notchy and uh, Daz, Daz Deloro gifted me this very kindly and um, I didn't actually know they did a free button uh, micro switch version I uh, I thought the uh, the 6B the 6 button version was the only Japanese micro switch one but no they did actually do a free button variant so a very nice stick to have that's that then we've got the classic Dreamcast stick with a VMU in. Great stick, really nice. Um, mixed reviews on the actual stick itself and the buttons, but for me, it's it's great. Really weighty, nice to sit on your lap. Uh, great for your Dreamcast shooters. And very nice, uh, very nice condition. And a very nice price I got it at as well, so which is always nice. Then we've got a genuine. SNK Neo Geo AES stick, micro switched. 
big massive old stick this very nice condition as usual got a bit of wear on the uh, the writing it's just where you you rest your hand but um, yeah very nice and then next to it be careful not to show you the uh, the latest one next to it is the neo uh, fighting stick from Hori micro switched so you can hear the difference uh, it's got the turbo button I had a bit of problem with this when I first bought it did a really early video and I think the problem was uh, in the turbo switches again it's got a metal base really heavy stick really nice to have on your lap uh, which leads me on to my second IMP stick uh, yep yeah, the second one same condition as the first and this is the one that I had the lead repaired uh, beep 73 the chap who did my main arcade he made me this lead very heavy duty lead that's all up and running however it has highlighted a problem with my uh, white PC engine the actual uh, ding connector on the front of the console is quite loose so uh, I need to get around to fixing that but anyway it's up and running so I've got two sticks so I've got one for the Mega Drive and one for the PC engine or vice versa so that's all the that's all the sticks and then the main event is this as long as it focuses all right with the uh, extreme white light it's the Quamba I hope I'm saying that right um, Q uh, Quamba Q4 RAF 3 and 1 stick now this is for the PlayStation 3 the Xbox 360 and PC it's USB and I'll just switch to a better view okay so that's a little bit better so I'll just show you inside very nice snazzy box We've got some uh, some bags it's got like a headphone jack and on the front so I can uh, plug your headphone in it's also got a spare gate in there which I will talk about shortly not quite sure what they are I don't know whether they're the button um, button dummy buttons or what a little wipe there get a picture of some guys at the uh, Canada Cup gaming instructions and the stick itself and it's absolutely huge it really is struggling to lift it with one hand I'll just uh, take it out it's that big it's got its own handle so I'll just show you the, uh, the back side so it's got a felt back so it's great for having it on your lap it doesn't slip around and the actual wire itself lives in uh, this little side compartment and the USB cable pops out of there so it's got if you can actually see it's quite shiny uh, home turbo mode select and then a little slider switch for Xbox 360 PS3 and PC so it's currently on Xbox 360 and uh, I've just I just have this plugged in all the time it will fit up on my uh, little display rack but um, yeah I've just got it plugged into the uh, Xbox 360 all the time and uh, yeah going back to the gate which is here at the minute it's got a octag octagonal gate in if you can hear that and then this gate here is a, um, a square gate you can see a square um, I bought the second hand and I think the chap used it more for fighters rather than shooters but he's gave me both gates and um, at the minute I can't quite make my mind up I've been playing a lot of Saturn with the virtual stick and then I've been on the 360 with this and I'm not sure I probably will swap it out just to see what it's like but I'm interested to uh, what you guys think out there what is the best gate or what's your personal recommendation 
for an arcade stick gate? Is it the uh, the good old square gate or is it a uh, octagonal gate? So yeah, it's lovely, lovely stick, very shiny, easy to collect fingerprints. Um, just have to keep it, give it a quick wipe down, keep it nice and clean and shiny. And the buttons are really, I think it's, I think it might have got upgraded buttons in. Or is it just, a, I think it's just the gate has changed. Yeah, I think it's just the gate. But the buttons are really sensitive. I mean, you don't have to, there's no button bashing required. It's just a, a simple press. And uh, try and show you a size difference. It's quite hard to judge on camera. So you think a AS stick's quite big. Well, there we go. That, that's the size difference. That's what we're talking. And then compare that to the original Mega Drive stick there we go so you can see the size difference um, it's a monster it really is a monster and uh, I got talking to Steve Adidas sneaker freak I know he quite fancies the blue one and um, I think that's the model above this um, or below I can't quite remember and also uh, Rockstar Runner 7 he's got one he put me on to this because um, he's got an Xbox 360 as well. So, uh, yeah, I was just after a decent stick and um, spent a few weeks looking into one for the 360, but decided on this one. And you can actually get a carry bag. And uh, I think the carry bags go for about 40 quid. And uh, apparently this handle is for when uh, you take them to um, events, competitions, stuff like that. Probably hence why I've got the uh, the Canada Cup gaming card. Those chaps look like they're having some uh, bit focuses. They're having some fun there, aren't they? So that is it. That is the uh, the full upgraded, updated stick collection. Um, I've got no more sticks uh, planned. I think that's me done. So from me and little Frank, that's about it, isn't it, Frank? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.